select an element, simply click on it. You can select multiple elements by marquee selecting, or by holding Command on the Mac or Controller windows and clicking on them. Move by clicking and dragging. You can scale by clicking on the scale boxes at the edges of your selection. If you move the mouse slightly further out from the scale boxes, the mouse changes to a rotation cursor. You can click drag to rotate the elements when this is showing. If you have multiple elements on top of each other, you can use the right click menu to select the element that you're after. Zoom the viewport with the scroll wheel, or by using the scroll gesture on a trackpad. Press F to fit the view to the selected elements. With no element selected, F will fit the composition in the view. Shift F will center on the selected elements without zooming. Command F on the Mac or Control F on Windows will zoom to fit the composition in the view regardless of the selection. Playback controls can be found in the viewport settings bar. Space will start and stop playback. Though it's not part of the viewport, it's worth pointing out the composition settings at this point, as it's here that you can change your resolution, FPS, playback step, and, importantly for us, the composition background colour. If you want a transparent background, you can either set a transparent background colour, or you can use the background settings and click the button in here to set a transparent background. When our background is transparent, you will see a checkerboard pattern by default, or you can choose to see the composition background colour by clicking the checkerboard toggle. Please note that even when turning the checkerboard off, your composition will still have transparency as this is controlled by the alpha of the background colour. Turn on snapping by using the magnet toggle. There are various settings in the accompanying popover for grid and bounding box snapping. See the documentation for more details. Another useful setting is the toggle for showing the composition boundaries. That way, if your composition has a black background, you'll still know where the edges are. Different tools can be found on the left hand side of the viewport. Some of these deserve a video all to themselves, but others such as the primitive tools are quite simple. To activate a tool, simply click on the icon. Then click drag in the viewport to make a primitive. You can also simply click to create a primitive with the default settings. Press V to switch back to the transform tool. Alt click a tool to quickly create a primitive without the need to switch to the tool. To move a pivot point, double click on the pivot point and then drag. Alternatively, you can Alt single click and drag. Moving the pivot point will change the location at which the shapes scale and rotate. Be careful when doing this. If you need to recenter a pivot point, select the shape and choose Center Pivot from the Shape menu. You may also have noticed that the right click menu has a Copy as SVG option. This will copy the current shape into the clipboard for use in other applications. With elements selected, clicking on a swatch will set the color of those elements. Alt clicking a swatch will set the stroke color. You can also drag swatches onto elements to set their fill colors even if they're not selected. 